I wake up between 6 and 6.15, check my email, see what came in overnight, look at my schedule for the day, quick scan of the news. I have to ground myself before I can be prepared for everybody else. All right, is your mouth empty now? Now tell me what you eat for lunch. So my husband is typically up before six o'clock, but most often one of us is traveling, one of us has an early meeting, one of us is going for a workout, and the other one is home, just getting everybody set to get off and have an awesome day. Hey you, have a great day. Hey, ah, hey, all right. Let's go to Laughing Man. So normally in the morning I walk down the street to our studio in Tribeca for class. Obviously there's great physical benefits to working out, but more than anything, it's about mental training and well-being. The idea that you can disconnect from technology and focus on something else. It's really easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day of the business. So for me, the opportunity to pull back and see the big picture, think about a difficult problem so that I can come out more creative, more inspired, and maybe help the team problem solve in a different kind of way is so important. I think my basic philosophy of leadership is to align a great group of people around an awesome project, big mission, something that's got purpose. If you have the right people around you and everyone is clear on where you're going, just get out of their way, they're gonna do great work. Here we are, post-class, and ready to head to the office and start the rest of my day. So the key to fitting everything into your day, I believe, is just making every moment intentional and finding all kinds of efficiency hacks over the course of the day. So I pre-order everything, coffee before class, meals in the office before I get there, fridge in my office stocked with seltzer water, so I don't have to worry about any of that during the day. One of the other hacks for efficiency that we've adopted as a leadership team is no matter when a meeting starts, it always ends at the scheduled time. You can get as much done in 15 minutes as you can get in 30 minutes, and because we're so busy, we've got so much going on, meetings oftentimes start later than we anticipate them to. We make a promise to each other that even if we start a meeting 20 minutes late, we're still going to end at the 30 minute mark so that we can keep the rest of our day on track. I'm getting emails, text messages, Slack, LinkedIn, DM on Instagram, it's all the time. Personally, I choose one form of communication and I really try to stick with it. Email is the way that I like to communicate because you can keep a group informed of what's going on and at least the chain is all in one place. But nothing will ever replace a face-to-face -face conversation. If there's four emails back and forth about a topic, just get up and go find the person or pick up the phone. You're gonna get an answer a lot faster and be able to read the emotion behind someone's response versus continuing to go back and forth over email. All right, that's it. I gotta go, we've got an all company meeting. That felt cheesy.